Hello again everyone, Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about what I think is the most powerful zodiac sign. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, first up as well, as far as Aries goes, well, uh, Aries uh, can be very combative. They could have a lot of uh, courage and fortitude. They could also be downright fearless, and they generally have very little uh, physical fear, not afraid, uh, generally not afraid of any like physical confrontation. But it's not a sign that I would say really strongly connected with power. They can win battles, uh, excuse me, granted. But uh, they're really, I think they're just too impatient to spend much sustained time in exerting their power and will over, excuse me, over somebody. Now, uh, they're usually going on to the next battle as opposed to doing that. So I won't, would not say Aries anyway. Well, the next sign I want to talk about, well, Taurus, um, actually, I mean, I wouldn't say Taurus. Taurus, even though it's a fixed sign, can actually be very passive and peace-loving. They are uh, a strong sign. Uh, they have very uh, strong uh, composure, and of course, the, they have the strong latent energy behind strong powers of endurance, but uh, and also very, have a lot of perseverance and persistence. But they are very also they can be very docile, gentle, and laid back, and they're not really overly concerned with power and trying to impose, uh, you know, really themselves on somebody or they're, they really exert much power on someone. They're not about any kind of strong intimidation or being imposing or what have you. So to me, they're they're really not so much about uh, that. Is just not something that I think is really strongly synonymous with the sign. So I will say no to Taurus anyway. Next sign I want to talk about, well, Gemini certainly is not uh, the most powerful. They're a mutable sign. Gemini can be very whimsical, capricious, and very lighthearted. They're very vivacious, and they're very, uh, really about, uh, they're not one about imposing uh, their will on, on another person. They're not ones that uh, really, um, they, they often will, will go a distance to avoid a scene uh, with, with people. They're really not about really making waves and uh, really, uh, they're very adaptable, but again, they can go great distances to uh, avoid uh, a scene, and they're really not uh, so much about having any uh, really powerful effect on anybody too much. They're, that, that is just not something, power just doesn't seem to be something that is in uh, Gemini's vocabulary or their uh, DNA. So, and uh, I mean, Gemini, of course, is very not exactly known there for their persistence. And, and in situations when one is even trying to attain power, you generally have to have a certain amount of persistence, which Gemini generally doesn't. So anyway, well, the next sign I want to talk about is cancer. Well, zodiac sign cancer is certainly not the most powerful or really there's nothing that formidable about the sign. They could be very introverted and introspective. They may often... I mean, run away actually from things they can't uh, fight and withdraw into uh, their figurative shell, so to speak. They're not exactly an overpowering personality that uh, bowls anybody over, and it really, is, and they're just not ones that have that that strong ability where where, where you would really, well, I should say, where you would really see them as being a powerful uh, person or, or one that is about uh, power. So, uh, to me. I would say that Cancer certainly isn't the most powerful zodiac sign. Now, uh, anyway, the next sign I want to talk about is Leo. Well, Leo certainly could be a, a very good candidate to being uh, the most powerful zodiac sign. They certainly have their legendary temper, and they can certainly intimidate others very easily. They could be very imposing. I mean, they're certainly... Uh, their authority, I mean, they're usually about, often about a position of authority. You look at the domineering, but but really all great legendary head coach, Bill Parcells, son in Leo. And he certainly, I mean, he would say, he said something like, well, you don't want to be in my doghouse. Um, and I have a son and, Leo, son and ascendant Leo friend that said the same thing one day, oddly enough, uh, because Leo's uh, do mean business. You get in Leo's doghouse, so to speak. They will show you who is boss. But they don't quite have the power to get others, maybe perhaps to do uh, the things that they always want them to do. And not as much as a sign I'm going to choose at the end 
uh, of the video. They could, but however, Leos um, really, um, compared to most of the sides, I mean, they could really impose uh, their will very strongly uh, on on others. So they are, uh, they could be the most dominant sign, but I think they're going to fall a little slightly short, perhaps, of the most powerful zodiac sign. They could come in at a close second, perhaps, though, and they could also, they are, they are such, have such a strong character that they can often emerge victorious in scenarios that they have no business winning because they always seem to have that keep trying harder type philosophy and mindset. Anyway, well, I would say definitely not Virgo as far as the most powerful zodiac sign. Virgo is a mutable sign, but they uh, are certainly so busy incessantly worrying about things that they are not really ones concerned uh, with power. And there's really nothing that powerful about their aura. I mean, Virgo sadly can be easily coerced uh, by others. I think, I mean, given they are a mutable sign, they are considered one of the weaker uh, signs of the zodiac. They're not exactly known for an exorbitant uh, or an inordinate strength of character. I'm not saying they're completely weaklings or they have no will whatsoever, but Virgos are really not one of the stronger zodiac signs uh, overall. It would be very hard for me to put them at the top as the um, as the most. Uh, it's the most powerful zodiac sign. They're usually, I mean, they could often be deep in thought, very pensive, and sometimes apprehensive, and sometimes they worry so much about something that they won't even, I mean, they wind up maybe not even taking action because of it. So uh, for me, I just don't see them as the most powerful zodiac sign. Anyway, the next uh, sign I'm going to talk about is Libra. Now, Libra, um, okay, Libra is a sign that they are very enamored, of course, with peace and tranquility. They'll often go to great lengths to avoid any kind of warfare. And, I mean, if they're going to try to, I mean, they, they understand if they're trying to uh, exert any strong power uh, on someone, they are want that they think maybe that that might make some waves or if they even have a ability to maybe empower some try to empower somebody they might even think that could be making waves as well because they don't want maybe the other person to say well that is this has nothing to do with you you don't i don't need to be empowered by you although we do have a, a very famous uh, libra rising person by the name of tony robbins motivational guru who obviously has a very strong capability of doing of doing that but uh, Libra is very strongly more about compromise and reconciliation than concern with any uh, any kind of power. So, for me, I would not say Libra. Anyway, the next sign I want to talk about is Sagittarius. Sagittarius can, of course, be, I mean, they're a mutable sign, very lighthearted, jovial, and jocular. And they're often uh, being, I mean, they are, again, a mutable sign. They're more about laughing things off than trying to impose some kind of will on someone or try to show any kind of control over uh, over anybody. They are not really, I mean, Sagittarius granted being a fire sign, they could really be very capable of having a leadership position, but they're not really in it for any kind of, it's not about having the power and it's just about the fact that they have that strong ability to lead being a fire sign and they're more about laughing something off than, than really worrying about anything associated uh, really uh, with any any kind of power they're not ones that want to uh, gain power over really generally over anybody that is not really the way their modus operandi is so I would certainly not say Sagittarius. However, talking about Capricorn, well, Capricorn can certainly be a viable candidate. I mean, they're not a fixed sum, but they are, it's a cardinal sum, but they are very strong and they're very strong will. They could often attain a position of authority given the fact that they are uh, arguably the most ambitious of the zodiac signs. Uh, and, and even in a very negative manifestation, Capricorn can be downright tyrannical and ruthless and romp over others to get to the top. And I mean, though it might be because of a strong will to do that, I'm not saying that that is certainly not right, though, but they could be very tough minded, strong willed and very single minded. 
and they could often uh, be able, I mean, in a position of authority, they could often be able to push others to work harder and, and really and get others to accomplish much uh, because of that. But I think because being Capricorn could be very pessimistic and cynical, they are the ones to uh, really, they, they might worry a little bit more as opposed to maybe accomplishing more uh, as the, um, the sign I'm going to choose at the end of the video. So I think because of that, I look at that as Capricorn perhaps really falling a little uh, bit short. Capricorn is very premeditative and they just might take a little bit longer sometimes before taking their action. And thus they're, they're, they don't really have that power to get what they need done as much as the sign I'm gonna choose at the end of the video anyway. Next sign I'm gonna talk about is Aquarius. Well, Aquarius can be, of course, a very strong sign given that they're very uh, fixed. They could certainly empower others to uh, reach their, their really their maximum potential in terms of their thinking capability. I think Aquarius unequivocally is the smartest sign of uh, the zodiac because it's one of the rulers is Uranus, and of course that is the higher octave of Mercury. And also, but what it is about Aquarius is they're not really about being. Uh, a, a person that's going to be very imposing or intimidating or exerting power on, on, on others. They're ones that do things very well in collaborative efforts with friends and groups and or, or organizations. And they just seem to work very well with a but really uh, as well with a bunch of people. And they're not ones that um, are out there uh, where, where they're trying to, you know, they're they're not ones that you would say domineering, even though they are, it is a fixed sign. They get others, again, to maximize their cerebral ability often and tap into their innovative sign. And they are most powerful of the zodiac signs, I believe, in doing that. But they're certainly not the most powerful zodiac sign, in my opinion. Anyway, next sign I want to talk about is Pisces. Well, Pisces certainly is not the most powerful uh, zodiac sign. I mean, Pisces, again, a mutable sign. I actually do see them as the weakest zodiac sign. Uh, they could be rather passive, submissive, and timid. And they're also uh, and very non-confrontational. They will often isolate themselves from society and retreat into solitude in their own fantasy world and go into seclusion to avoid the harshness of, excuse me, the outside world. They often can have I even have difficulty standing up for themselves, I think more so than the other signs on average. It's not a sign that is really out there that much where they, they would really be uh, concerned about really being, you know, really be, being, pow any, uh, being powerful, exerting power uh, on others, or having some really strong, powerful position uh, where, where they, where, where, because they are just more about within themselves uh, I think I think they'd be very introspective. So, and again, they're often about isolation and finding that desolate spot and being in their solitude and seclusion. So, they really that is not a sign. I mean, I don't really see them as being the most powerful zodiac sign. Anyway, well, the sign I'm going to unveil and reveal as far as the most powerful uh, zodiac sign may not be a shocker, but I'm going to go with Scorpio. And of course, it is you know, ruled by not just Mars, but Pluto, the planet of power. I think Scorpio irrebuttably is the most powerful zodiac sign, again, ruled by Pluto. And it could, it's a co-rulership with Mars, I think, could give energy to that power. Now, in Scorpio, in a positive manifestation, has the power to transform others for their good in a beneficial manner. They often have the great, I would say they have the greatest propensity to empower people. And also Scorpio um, can also in a very uh, negative manifestation, they could often use, uh, they perhaps manipulate others to meet their own ends. Sadly, they can often have the strong power to do that. And um, in previous videos, I have stated that Scorpio is the, um, I mean, I think they are the strongest zodiac sign as well, and they can have a very strong, indomitable spirit, be very resilient, and really have very strong uh, willpower, perhaps more so than any of the other zodiac signs. Now, I think, too, the co-rulership with Mars and Pluto can give them the power to emerge victorious 
and in their wars very often. I mean, Scorpio may fight a perpetual battle uh, in life, basically. Now, the thing about it is, I talked about Aries before. Aries can often win most individual battles, but as far as winning the ultimate war, Scorpio almost always seems to emerge victorious. It may not be through a physical confrontation, but they will often find a way to do the last thing to you in any kind of uh, a situation where you're in some kind of combat or confrontational situation or a battle or war with Scorpio. Scorpio will almost inevitably emerge victorious. Uh, they are the ones, I mean, they really, the, the Scorpio presence alone can be very imposing and intimidating. They could be very formidable, even in their appearance. Uh, they are even more, I would say, even more intimidating um, than Leo on average. Leo might be a close second. Leo can be very imposing. But when you look at a Scorpio, they, I think a lot of this, their penetrating, piercing gaze, Scorpio can often weed information out of you with barely saying anything. And there's just something about them that could be very scary just in their physical, their, their appearance alone. And uh, the thing too is they often have this uncanny ability too to get their adversaries to trip themselves up. And I think, the, again, the Mars-Pluto rulership of Scorpio can make them very proficient in psychological warfare and winning battles, uh, and again, with manipulation. You have uh, some very uh, powerful people that have had Scorpio prominent in their chart. I mean, you talk about Mussolini, Napoleon, I believe Bonaparte, both had a uh, Scorpio rising. And... Um, but on a, a more positive end, we're talking about some positive Scorpio peoples that have that have exerted strong power. I mean, you look at um, Scorpios can often have the ability to empower others through that astrological uh, knowledge. You look at uh, renowned uh, astrologers Liz Green, Alan Oaken, and uh, Stephen Farce. They all have Scorpio uh, rising, and they're you know some of the best astrologers out there. Remember that Scorpio is really I mean I see them as the most occult of all the signs, and they could be very good uh, as far as things of an occult, as supernatural, astrological nature goes, and they could really empower others with their knowledge of this. Now, also too. Sadly, in another negative manifestation, though, you look at an example like uh, the uh, infamous cult leader, Charles Manson, who, of course, he had a Scorpio son, manipulated so many people to do his evil, nefarious uh, bidding. And again, another thing about Scorpio being the most powerful sign, they may be so intense and powerful Scorpio that they actually are better, I think, in situations that are more group oriented, that are more of a collaborative effort and collective effort of a number of individuals as opposed to one-on-one -on -one scenarios because one-on-one, -on -one, the Scorpio energy can be so powerful, they could wind up just bowling someone over, even you know, figuratively speaking, but inadvertently because they are just so uh, intense and they are they're really and it might be difficult working with the Scorpio in a one-on-one -on -one situation uh, because of that now the thing about it is too I mean you talk about the Scorpio being the most powerful zodiacs at least I feel in my opinion they're also you talk about being I mean an unflappable bulldozer of strength in crisis situations I mean I understand there's other signs that could that that are you know that are very uh, that do well in those situations. You have uh, Taurus who can really do well and do good in terms of adverse situations or crisis situations. But see the thing about it is where Scorpio can beat Taurus, and that is because Scorpio is more quick-witted, so they're able to handle those situations with more quickness. Taurus, granted, is very calm and composed, and they can handle those situations readily, but Scorpio has a little edge over them in that. Now, if you're talking about another fixed sign, Leo, well, Leo, I mean, could handle crisis situations well, given they're a fixed sign, but Leo can be a little bit high strung. Their temperament's a little high strung. So they can be a little bit more excitable in those situations and maybe not always handle it as well as Scorpio on average. That is just what I believe, though. But um, anyway, 
and they have and they do have that power again scorpio to handle those situations i believe better than uh, anyone else it's not only i don't believe i mean and i don't just believe it's the strongest sign of the zodiac it is the most powerful sign of the zodiac it is because also that their impact on others seems to be the strongest of all the zodiac signs there's something about scorpio energy which seems to leave uh, i think a more of an indelible impression on others than the other 11 zodiac signs at least on average so anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for uh, what i believe is the most powerful zodiac sign stay tuned next time where i'm going to be giving you my uh, my taurus august 2018 horoscope forecast two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.